What is up you guys? This is going to be a tutorial on how to do this cool TV glitch warp effect on a certain part of your clip. So let's get started. First thing you want to do is press command D and that will duplicate your clip. Then we want to go up and use the roto brush tool. So we're going to double click and then just drag the areas that we want to glitch. So in this case, I'm just going to glitch myself. <laughs> And it doesn't have to be that perfect um, because the glitch will go pretty fast. So you can't really see what parts you miss. But if you want to make it look perfect, you can. Um, I'm just messing around because this is just a tutorial. And you can also hold on to Alt so that if you, if you marked extra parts that you don't want, you can clear that up again. And you can also hold on to Command so that um, you can change the size of it. First thing you want to do is search up Wave Warp in Effects and Presets. <laughs> LOL, look at my face. Um, and we also want to search up Turbulent Displace. Damn, my face is so attractive right now. First things first, we're gonna change the wave width to 500 and then change the wave height to 0 at the beginning and then change the direction um, back to zero. Now also you want to change the wave type to noise. Now what you want to do is press the keyframe button for the wave height and so it's gonna start at zero and then towards the middle of when the roto brush is used we're gonna make that 50 and then go a little bit forward and then get that back to zero. So that's when the glitch is gonna form. So as you can see you can kind of see the glitch already. Now you want to go down to Turbulence Displace. We're going to change the amount to 0 and change the evolution to 3. So now you can see this cool glitch effect. But as you can see, some parts haven't been picked up because of the Roto Brush tool. So we can just adjust that frame by frame. But honestly, if you do it fast enough, you can't really notice it anyways. So yeah, you could just clean it up though. Um, yeah, there's just certain parts that doesn't pick up my hand, I can tell, but um, it goes pretty fast, so you don't really have to make it perfect, but if you need to, you can. You can actually do this in the reverse direction as well. So, so what you can do is you can copy and paste um, everything but the roto brush tool onto the bottom layer, and then you can go back to the first layer, and then you can delete everything except for the roto brush tool. So as you can see now it just it um blurs or glitches the background of your clip. You can scale it a bit so you don't see as much of the black on the outsides. But yeah, that's the whole effect. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Please give it a thumbs up if you did and I'll see you in my next video. Bye.